Hello everybody, Ben Pop here, welcome back to Panic Coaster! We start again with a usual panning of the area to see what we built so far and we head over to the back. Over here, our park is going nicely. We put in our first roller coaster last time. There's still stuff to do back here, like the back of these buildings, you know, we can still see them, people still walk around there, and uh, they're not finished. And we'll have to do that. Uh, I'm not going to do a lot of that today. I want to work on some uh, landscaping with the terrain tools and we're gonna create a cave but I will be fixing some of these um, spots just pretty much it was not as bad like that big gap there and uh, a lot of those back of the buildings are gonna stay the way they are it's just where people are gonna walk through and here there's a section that's kinda unfinished and the roof is showing through and it needs more things so we're gonna start in this Sort of, um, I guess it is a station. <laughs> it's a roller coaster station. We're gonna start here and we're gonna make that roof um, have a purpose because we can't get rid of it. It will have a, uh, you know, a gap outside. And the idea of all these buildings together is that they're just, you know, tossed together at random. It, it goes with the architecture type that I was going. And uh, there's more of it here. Some of that building was pretty much uh, digging in just like that and um, that's how it stays a bit more um, just details out on the side here and we gotta fill in this gap so it's not so big for all those coaster riders to go through and on the inside is gonna get some details there's a few different issues I ran into in uh, this specific alpha um, I guess it's uh, build 0 0.22 or something like that. Anyway, so they did add the coaster pillars to be able to interact with the environment, so they don't go away. Uh, they're kind of, you know, they kind of look like they're there. They're sticking through the buildings. <coughs> Excuse me, and that makes sense. So I turned those on, and we're gonna now work with the terrain tool on making a cave. And I want to make a whole bunch of cave systems through here because the park is called the Iron Wolf Forest. So it's going to be foresty, it's going to be full of caves and dens where, you know, wolves could go through and stuff like that. It's kind of a little fantasy uh, thing that I came up with. And uh, yeah, so we're going through. There's a lot of neat things they can do with the terrain tools. You can flatten to uh, the base. You can flatten to the side, you can push and pull uh, the, I guess, the dirt. Uh, and one thing I was having, another issue I was having uh, recording this is that once I placed some pieces down, it didn't have to be a prop or uh, it could have been a wall piece. Like some of these light posts here, I ended up not being able to move them ever again. I just can't, can't click on them. You can like, it clicks through. I mean, I was selecting, like, trees from outside while I was in the cave trying to select a light post. So, um, that wasn't working so well. But you can see here with the with the terrain tool, uh, it's really neat to just you get that stairway uh, clear and smooth all the way down. And you can chisel the side of the cave, I guess. And... And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of smooth out the outside so it's not so blocky. But we will be, con we'll be continuing the cave system out there, and I'm not sure how it's gonna end up looking. We're leaving it like that for now. And in here, I decided to make enough space uh, to put in a ride, and it's gonna be one of these basic rides. I think this is called a psycho something. I forget what it's called. It's written right there. <laughs> so, um, it, it's supposed to mess with your head, it's all got like green goo in it, and like it's got like brain in the center, and pretty much does mess with your head. Uh, I'm gonna have later on a sort of a short bit of it running, and I'm just like, uh, why would you want to write this? And it makes it even worse that it's in the cave, because you don't see the sky or anything, it's just like, oh, it's black, oh, it's dark, oh, it's... So we'll get to that later, but 
it pretty much spins around like that and then and the chairs uh, spin upside down as well so uh, that's how that is we have to we have to kind of decorate the outside a little bit to make it so the cave is masked um, not necessarily masked but uh, just in between this all these buildings because uh, initially I wasn't gonna make a cave here I was just gonna do like a bunch of these houses with purposes in them um, and yeah so I, I decided to put a cave start a cave system here there was gonna be in my initial design let's say when I didn't know that that um, terrain tools are coming so fast I was gonna just do a path in the center here to connect to the rest of the park but now that we can do a cave system I was like well um, let's do that so uh, it's gonna take a while for people to start going down there it just apparently it does that um, population in the park has grown money comes in every time somebody walks in so there's no problem with money and um, I think it's I think it's a good system once we get to use the ride management the park management uh, you can probably tweak all that here I'm making sort of a uh, uh, it's looking like it's towers on the side but pretty much like a, a gateway uh, sort of entry for the uh, cave but it's not gonna be perfectly centered to the mouth of the cave because of the roller coaster going through and the roller coaster going through is is not something I want to change because uh, although I could change it to make it more you know fit the environment I want the environment to work around the roller coaster and I didn't think about the cave opening being like if I were to put the cave opening right underneath that coaster line coming uh, through then it would have been fine but you know what this is fine y you kind of I guess it's called improvising you can improvise on what is available and uh, make the best of it and I think that's kind of I guess you can say that you know the designer of the uh, coaster uh, didn't think about hey there was gonna be something else that goes through here and it's but you know anyway so it's a bit off but that works out in the end because we're gonna have a um, ability to put signs there and stuff okay there's um, I'm messing with like steam and things I'm putting steam in the chimney and over here by the coaster there's all sorts of visual effects added to the game there's a torch there <laughs> flamethrower I won't be using that here but I will be putting some flames somewhere um, eventually uh, when it came time to, to put the windows and so on on the building that I just created it was kind of difficult I had issues with selecting some blocks and then trying to put the um, um, oh yeah I ended up moving it a little bit because it was a different angle and then trying to put windows on and lights it just it acted like the blocks weren't there like it's supposed to you know snap to the wall of the building and it, it wasn't doing that so I was having issues trying to select <laughs> certain things to to move him and remove him and it was interesting I don't know if uh, if it's a bug anyone else is experimenting or if it's just something that I ran into and um, it's something I'm reporting on their bug thing because that's one of the points of having access to the early alpha is to find bugs and report them so I'm doing that hopefully they'll find a way to fix it it was a really difficult like things were trying to snap to the coaster instead and I had to like start way on the right with those uh, things and, and then move them across uh, it was pretty pretty interesting pretty interesting on the lights I ended up giving up because uh, I, I couldn't I couldn't do it I couldn't there's like they were going through without snapping to the wall so I just yeah I think that's the last one I'm placing because the other ones are not snapping uh, and yeah difficult uh, put a couple of 
uh, those lights inside. How did I forget the word of those things? Anyway, and uh, we have to sort of decorate the other buildings here. This white building gets the uh, half timbering from the wood wooden walls, and I'm using one of the new doors there. And then the usual ceiling, or roof I should say, in this case it's both roof and ceiling. The usual roof that I was uh, using up, up until now and, and that you probably got used to. And once we finish deco decorating these houses we're going to go back to the cave and uh, do some more stuff in there. But yeah, so this, this was fine. Uh, it was something about, I think something about the rounded... Uh, stone walls that I couldn't place uh, decorations on very well. This uh, stone building here gets the white pillars and roof trims as a, a design, um, you know, thing. <laughs> What's going on with my words today? And uh, again, roof on, on this is uh, going to be similar. And they do have a few new signs and a few new uh, scenery objects as well. And we're going to look at a couple of them, I believe, a few different bushes and, and so on here in a second. There we go. So there's actual bushes. You don't have to put trees inside the ground to barely have them stick up anymore. Uh, so that was neat. That was... I like that. Here we're, we're doing a bit of uh, design in, this, in the cave. I guess we'll see it later. Uh, that, was, that was too quick. And I was trying to put a sign. And for some reason the signs are flat when you, when you select them. And you have to place them there and then use the new uh, advanced controls that they added to, um, to spin them around and get them to where you want them. And I thought maybe the pillars interacting with the environment was affecting this so I turned off the pillars for a second uh, ends up that that wasn't it uh, oh that was a quick okay so this is really fast me riding that ride to <laughs> kind of see what's uh, what it looks like and, and I decided to make a few uh, visual effects that will sit around and pretty much add a, a bit of something else to the roof of that cave because at, at the moment it was just spinning through the ride and there was nothing it was just you know dirt on top and so I, I placed that fire display there and an electrical one <coughs> just to see how it is look how it looks like and once that's all in and then here we can look at the ride and you can see that you're just spinning around I don't know. I don't know if I could actually ride this ride. I could do more with the visual effects on the ceiling. The flame being in the center of the actual ride it means that you can see it every time you go uh, upside down, but you don't see it very well. So I want like the flame to like torch people-ish almost. The electrical one, you see it once in a while. But yeah, you're just spinning upside down and going really fast, and. Once in a while you see the opening of the cave with the light and you're like, I want to be out there. This is terrifying. That's kind of the feeling I got just looking at the screen when the ride was going. So, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you about this ride. I don't, I don't think I could ride it. Uh, go ahead and uh, let me know what you think of it. it it's, a, it's an interesting one, that's for sure. Yep, and it's, so it's a like a backward spin. And then I think then he goes in the forward spin. And I kind of gave up. I was like, yeah, that's enough. So there's the, the fire display and the electrical display. That's how the ride looks. And then we zoom all the way out. And that's really it. I'm turning back the uh, pillars back on. That's really it for this episode. Because I wanted to get the terrain tools showed off. Or show off the terrain tools. And I hope you guys enjoyed them. Uh, even though it's a really fast paced video. Let me know what else you want to see specifically. I can spend more time and show, him, uh, show things in a slower motion. 
But until next time, I'll leave you with a quick roller coaster ride through here, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Bye bye.